What's hey, going on? What's going on with you, you fashion I'm icon? Saying, we, we, we got the winter white thing going on. It's we, happening. We do. I love your jacket. I love Thank your you. your look. You like my turban? I do. I've noticed, I, I've seen you wear a lot of turbans. This is your new look. It is, I mean, you know what it is? This is my crown. I feel like a king. I feel royal out here. Uh -huh. it's, it's, it's like I feel royal mixed with mommy dearest. It's working for me. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. First of all, is there a store that sells? Because you have a lot of them, or you, do you have them made? Because I didn't. I've never turbans seen. Turbans are us. Yeah, I've never seen a store <laughs> that has a lot of turbans. Nah, you know what it is. It is. I mean, because there's different types. I mean, uh, it, and it comes from whatever culture or understanding. Sometimes I'll do the Sikh thing. Sometimes I'll do the Moorish thing. But sometimes I'll, you know, do the. Compton thing, you know, <laughs> so it, it it all works out to where I do some of them take a lot longer, like the the ones that kind of come from the Hindu background. That you have I, to make yourself. Yeah, that's so I have a lot of those, but then I had the kind that you know when I'm with the kids, I could just throw it on. That one from America's Got Talent, that was custom made right there. That was. Well, that looks custom made too. Yeah, you know, you throw a diamond on there every once in a while, fill your royalty out. Uh -huh. You know how I do? Is it? <laughs> getting claps from a turban. Uh -huh. I love it. Now, is it really just because it's bad hair day, or is it is it really a, a... <laughs> Sometimes it's that. I mean, like, it's always a lot going on up under my turban, but uh, ultimately it is. To me, it's like a cultural thing. I mean, mm -hmm. it's been something I've been studying for quite some time. And then in a time like this, in a world where I, I just want everybody to embrace differences, you know what I mean? And to be able to stand out through fashion, not saying to make that statement and say, no matter what background you're from, no matter what religion or culture, when you can just all embrace it and just everybody love one another, that's what I'm with you. I make that stand. I like it. Thank you. I like it. Now, I just recently heard that you w were in the hospital again. You were sick again, but you were in the hospital like for Christmas. I was in hospital during Christmas. That's, that's, man. That's... From the lupus again? You know what? It's always because lupus is something that I was diagnosed with in 2012. And it's, it always stems from that. But this time it was actually, I had, uh, it, I had medication issues. And so it wasn't, it, it was definitely life threatening. But once I got to the hospital, you know, the great doctors at Cedars got it all in order. But it was just like, I just had two much medicine going on so um, I'm like yo I, I gotta I don't like I don't where like were that. you and what happened that you were like had to be rushed to the hospital I mean I don't want to get too into it but it was more like what actually happened 70 percent of the blood ended up going to one of my arms because you know I was on like these blood thinners so I had to get like five blood transfusions so like my arm this arm was like Popeye so I kind of <laughs> I kind of knew something was wrong but then once I got to the hospital we got it all in order and got my levels back together and God. now I'm trying to do it the holistic, homeopathic way. So, well, there's nothing yeah. wrong with that. Yeah. And it's working. I mean, I feel, I feel at one. My chakras are in order. Good. Are you meditating and stuff like that? I am that? meditating. Good. I'm going I'm to start floating in a minute. Good. It's going to be... <laughs> It's gonna be all do you do TM? Did you get a mantra? I'm not. I'm getting into it. I mean, and like, and Howard Stern is the first person that kind of introduced me to a lot of that. And then right. you know, through like like my martial arts and stuff, I've been deep into meditation. But it's actually helping with my health quite a bit. So good. It will out. help. I'm yeah. I'm glad that you're talking to Howard because he's the he's the he guy. can float. I've yeah. heard. He, he floats. He's amazing. He's amazing. <laughs> um, I have to show a picture of your house uh -oh. and ask a question. If this stays there all the time. Uh, you have a ball pit in your house. <laughs> that is there all the time. That's, you can see my kids in the, the ball pit somewhere, but that's the living room, or which I like to call, like, that's the family room. And I always wanted to have, like, I grew up loving, like, Chuck E. Cheese and Fun Zones and stuff, and I was like, I'm going to just, me and my kids go and sit and watch movies in the ball pit, and <laughs> that's what we do. Really? It's there all the time? All the time. You can come over whenever you want, playing the balls. Let's go. Yeah, well, well, I guess it's, you know, at least you know those balls, because when you go to those uh, the ones in public... It's you dirty balls. Yeah, you dirty. Know what I mean. yeah. Those balls got germs. Those are yeah. clean balls. Oh, that's in your house also. <laughs> I'm like Willy Wonka. Like, yeah. I literally, everything I ever dreamed of as a kid, I actually did put in my house, and my kids get all the benefits. Are so, they able to just pick out candy and eat candy whenever they want? Not whenever they want. Like, there's, like, if they're, you know, if their grades are good, if they're doing well, and it's, I, I kind of ration it when I, when I can, but I'm a big kid at heart as well, so I kind of let them run amok. But, you know, after you got one giant lollipop, that's all you need for, like, a month. So mm -hmm. they, they kind of get what they want, and then they OD on it, and then they're done. So... <laughs> It's, but it's really cool because I'm a candy lover. I probably love candy more than my kids do. So that true, that candy shop truly is for me. But especially like cotton candy, I'll eat cotton candy on Thanksgiving. Like I'm one of, 
any time, but uh, you have a cotton candy machine there. Is that what yeah, that is right on there. the wheels? I got a cotton candy machine, a Slurpee machine. All like it, it gets crazy in there. Man, that's uh, next next Christmas I'm gonna be at the dentist. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you will be at the dentist. But no, I mean, maybe it's not so uh, it, it, alluring to them if it's there all the time. Exactly. So maybe they don't like think They about, don't go crazy yeah. for candy. Like when they're out at stores, they never ask for candy because they know they have it all at home. Yeah. So maybe I'm in some weird reverse psychology. It's like it a Jedi mind trick on yeah. my kids. That's what you've done. All right, we have to take a break. Uh, more with Nick after this. You and Mariah are doing it right. You're doing it the way when people, when the marriage doesn't work out, there's still kids involved, and it Absolutely. is very important for the kids to have parents and to see the parents together and getting along. So. It's all rooted that, in love. That's yeah. what it's all about. And we got so much love for those two kids right there that we'll do anything for them. And we've created a great bond and a friendship because yeah. of it. Yeah. Well, that's that's fantastic. Now, yeah. I have to ask if you've spoken to Mariah since the New Year's Eve incident where... <laughs> You know what? The picture right before that, that was we that was dinner like a couple of nights after that. And that's I think even I posted it on Instagram is like all is well, live, laugh, and just love. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because ultimately <laughs> I got it. You know me, I'm a I'm a conspiracy theorist. Uh -huh. I think the government did that. They set her up. <laughs> That was that was a distraction. Yeah. That that she, they just put her out there. But I mean, anyone who knows uh, about performing and having inner ears and stuff, things like that can go wrong on live television. I do live television all the time. I screw up on America's Got Talent all the time. So when there's people in your ears saying things and stuff, and I think she kind of got a little little flustered. But being the diva that she is, she said, "I'm just gonna walk around and pose for seven minutes." <laughs> And like, like Ryan Seacrest said, she could do no wrong. So yeah. she, she worked through it. People didn't seem to mind. They're still trying to touch yeah, her and grab like, her. She's, she's amazing just... and her yeah. lips aren't even moving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. All right, so uh, now, now I, I'm very confused because the last time you were here, you were on a sex strike. You were, you were. No, it wasn't a strike. I wasn't mad at nobody. Yeah, well, I was being celibate. I was trying right. to get my chakras in order. Okay, so so now you're having a baby. So when did that? <laughs> how did that happen? It, uh, clearly, the celibacy sex strike didn't work out no. too well. Uh, you know what? Honestly, I, I feel like. Again, get working through being single and everything like that. You you have people that you meet and you connect with, and I, I, I connected a little too well, I guess. <laughs> and uh, but you know, bringing a, a new life into the world is always a beautiful thing, and it's a celebration. And I think I'm probably like a month away before I got a new cannon in the building, so <laughs> I'm, I'm excited. A month away. Yeah. Boy a or month girl. and some change. Is it a boy or girl, or do you know? Or I you don't think? know. Can we make that announcement? Oh, I don't what do you know. Guess. What do you think? Boy. Boy. That's what it is. Yeah. It's gonna be a boy. Is You're it good? Is it? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Do you have yeah. a name and everything? Uh, no, I'm not gonna ask you the name, but we're, we're working on it. Yeah. We're, we're, I, I know Cannon will be involved somewhere. Uh huh. <laughs>